Martin County parents, you can rip up those school supply lists. The district is taking care of it for you. Uh, that's a great idea. That's the excellent news for us because um, that helps a lot with uh, the school supplies. When Rosa Salgado learned school supplies would be covered for her two daughters this year, she knew just where that money could go. Yeah, we can buy some, you know, like a shoes for the school, so or clothes. Or the Martin County School District announced $300,000 to go to its 20 schools to cover the cost of school supplies for every student. It breaks down to $20,000 for each elementary school, $10,000 for the middle schools, and $5,000 for each high school. The school leaders will decide which supplies to purchase. This money is really going to be used to cover things like colored pencils, glue, markers, binders and folders, paper, really more of the, the necessity items and a lot of items that really go quickly, especially at the elementary level. Derek Lowe with the Martin County School District says about half of their nearly 18,000 students qualify for free and reduced price lunch, showing just how much they can benefit from this break to their wallets. Anytime that we can kind of help put that extra help on the table, the dollars in the pockets of our families, it really does go a long way. The National Retail Federation predicts parents will spend about $140 on school supplies this year. We crunched some of the numbers for the Jensen Beach Elementary School Kindergarten Supply List. It adds up to about $75. Rosa says the news comes at the perfect time. Everything is expensive right now, but that helps a lot because we can buy some food. Because right now in summer, they, they need a lot. <laughs> this does not include some specialty items for older students, and it also does not include backpacks. If you are looking to buy some of those items, Florida does have its tax-free holiday beginning July 29th. In Martin County, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News.